welcome to bless this world it's king question once again on the channel and if you see me on this channel in china then you know we are about to share our experience so today i'm in the city of guangzhou i'm in guangzhou for two days and i want to explore a bit of the city there's a landmark there's a popular place called the canton tower i've never been there so today i want to take you guys with me and let's go explore the canton tower welcome guangzhou welcome to guangzhou so the dd driver welcome to guangzhou that's beautiful Morning, Lala Guangzhou. Morning, Lala Guangzhou. Welcome to Guangzhou. Yeah. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Now, quick info about the Canton Tower according to Wikipedia. The Canton Tower, formerly called the Guangzhou TV Astronomical and Sightseeing Tower, is a 604 meter, that is 1,982 feet tall multipurpose observation tower in the Haichu district of Guangzhou. Currently, it's the second most tallest tower in China and the fourth tallest freestanding structure in the world. To be able to enter public places in China in this period, you have to show your health code. The health code is green, but changes color from green to yellow or red depending on where you've been the last 14 days. For example, if you have been to places that are considered by the Chinese government as a medium risk zone, your code changes from green to yellow. Places that are considered as a high risk zone changes your code from green to red. This way. Okay. So I paid for the 450 local ticket, which cost 228. All right, so let's go and enjoy the view. What's up? Morning. Guys, take a look at this. One beautiful thing that caught my attention in this whole way was the display of different costume and other important artifacts representing different cultures within China. This clearly shows how diverse China is as a country. Pictures taken at this point are not for free. You have to pay not less than 250 kwai to get the pictures on your phone through WeChat or the hard copies. <laughs> 